Hey guys, we're live on the moon, and uh, it's been a it's been a while since I did this uh, because we've been in a, in a new moon. Today is the 28th of November, Monday evening, and it's uh, 6:13, and we have a a little bit of a moon. I wanted to show you something here. Uh, I'm going to try to show you the canyon lens of the ferret crater tonight, if I might. It's not a very good moon, uh, but I did uh, want to show you one thing before I zoom in. The uh, the moon looks egg-shaped tonight. I've tried several lenses. I mean, it, if you look at the right side, and and then it kind of elongates down I know I'm, I'm in a shadow at the top but it it's hard for me to show you this and it, it might be in my imagination but it just seems kind of strange I am going to uh, try to uh, do a full survey of the moon uh, with this 18 millimeter lens actually 19 this is a 19 millimeter lens and uh, and I want to point out one thing uh, first off uh, there is a blue tinge to the moon tonight and that's why you're seeing blue I can turn the color intensity down to nothing but if I turn it up at all it's emphasizing the blue you've seen that sometimes on my videos where it does emphasize the hue of the atmosphere and uh, the hue of this atmosphere is is bluish and that's why you're getting a bluish tinge uh, you're not going to see uh, a lot of various colors tonight like I, I showed you on the last couple videos for the simple reason that the the moon is in its uh, uh, first quarter and it's not having direct light uh, bore down on it what I want to do is uh, take this 18 uh, this 19 millimeter and start up here on the uh, on on the uh, the tip it, it's a strange moon tonight if you go out and look in the sky it just it doesn't look round number one and the shadow is all screwy it's like a like a sickle and or, you know a sigh or something like that instead of a crescent um, but I don't know it might be my imagination I, I was watching the moon last night, which I couldn't see from my porch, and it looked like it had a uh, a luminous glow around the dark part of the moon that was in shadow completely, and you could see like the outline of the back. And I I have no idea what's going on, but the moon is actually pretty strange tonight. It was strange last night. What I want to try to do is go up uh, up this shadow line with this uh, 19 millimeter. Mike got this new lens in. It's supposed to be clear. I'm not satisfied yet. I'm still in process of testing it out. I did pretty extensive testing right before I made this video. And let me see if I can brighten it up a little bit. See the bluish tinge. See the, if you look closely at that uh, that ferret, right to the the north, as you're looking at it on there, there's what I call canyon lands. There's uh, it, it seems to be like little box canyons and things like that, 
And I'm going to put that 5 millimeter in tonight since it's in shadow and see if we can see anything with it. But you, you can tell by the, it's hard to see it with a big picture the way the shadow is, but you can see the shadow kind of goes, goes down, looks like a, like a sickle or something, you know, instead of a, like a crescent. So it, it's it's just a strange, strange moon tonight. And you can see it in the sky, guys. You can look at it. It looks kind of strange. Okay. Uh, let me try to back out again one more time before I put this 5 in. And uh, we'll see if I can show you the effect better. Uh, look for uh, kind of like an egg shape like there's the roundness you can see that in the upper right hand corner the shadow line is to the left the moon the space is on the on the right and that's about as far as out as I can go but I lose the point up there but if you look see how it goes see how it looks elongated see you can see that see how it looks elongated going down to the left okay I'm gonna put in this uh, this five millimeter around fair Atlanta we're gonna see what we can see it's not a very good moon tonight but uh, I decided I'm gonna show you what's up there anyhow hang with me guys I am recording at 1080p uh, it's not super clear and it is a egg-shaped moon with a unusual shadow. Hang with me guys. Okay guys we got got a bad hair day on the moon <laughs> with a five. The atmospherics are terrible and I'm a full disclosure kind of a a, a person I like to uh, I like to teach as well as show videos and uh, right now it is in about as focused as it can get with a five and it's shaky you can actually see it shaking and the and there's no wind outside it's like they got earthquakes on the moon I don't know what they got see that area right up there where it kind of looks like there's canyon lands that's the area I want to explore so what we're going to do is we're going to put in an 18, the old standby 18 that has worked forever, and uh, and look at it with that first, and then we're going to put a Barlow on that 18 and see if it's a, a better image. I think it will be, but uh, you can see the canyon lens right around the uh, mouth, and uh, and also below to the left here. But the but the moon is just uh, this is a brand new moon that's in the first quarter, and it's just a lousy moon. But I was bound and determined to come out here and do something because I've been itching to get out. Okay, uh, hang with me. I'm going to put in that 18, and we're going to see if we can get a clearer image of the canyon lands on the moon. Okay, guys, we're back with the um, the 18 millimeter, and uh, I'm going to try to go into those canyon lands down there, right around that ferret ferret's mouth, and let's zoom in uh, a little bit better. Two, three, four five six seven see this this is a lot uh, more stable now let me see if I can focus it better you can see it's just it's just not it's not very uh, it's not a very good moon <laughs> it really isn't 
but we're going to try one more thing and uh, and then we're going to wrap it I'm going to put in a 2.5 Barlow and we're going to look at that same area right uh, right kind of to the left of center so hang with me we're going to see if we can get in there a little bit closer with this 18 so it should be two and a half times closer with a Barlow hang with me guys okay guys uh, I'm back and we're right now looking at uh, the moon through that uh, through that 18 millimeter Astrotech lens with a 2.5 PowerMate Teleview Barlow now the trick is can I get in close I I'm trying to get in right in those canyon areas right off the uh, I'll kind of center right there see those box canyons okay let's uh, zoom in as much as we can first of all let me put it on auto okay and let me zoom in one Two. I do have autofocus on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, here's the lesson. Uh, the image on this picture right here is much clearer than it was with that five millimeter. Now why is that? That's because I'm using it with a 2.5 Barlow. Now it seems like if you put in a 5, it would be the same thing or as close. But it seems like with these bigger lenses, with uh, with everything, you, you, you can get a clearer image. Also, the closer you get, the, the, le the, the more distorted it is as bad as it is that's really not a very bad image at all you can see the shadow see those uh, see the the ferret the edge of the ferret and see those kind of they look like uh, crevices fjords in the in the mountain right next to the crater let me go down and you can see the shadows that are projected in the canyon area. See, that's what I call the canyon area. If you were a little spaceman and you were wandering around in that area, you would uh, probably, it would probably look like uh, the Grand Canyon with all those mountains. I mean, that's not really a bad shot for for as bad a, it's a bad hair night on the moon and it's really not not a bad shot at all con considering now let me back out on the the zoom and we are recording at 1080p that's 35 megabytes of data per second see I went one two three four five six seven eight so you can see we did get in there pretty close and it was a uh, a pretty good uh, pretty good image now let's go to the to the left of the mouth right in there and let's do the same thing and see what we can see I have autofocus on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
and see those uh, kind of like uh, box canyons I call them box canyons it's just there's a lot of little mountains with a lot of flatness and it looks like a canyon area that's why I call this area the canyon lands on the moon and they're real clear right there centered see the ferret's eyes and see his little whiskers Okay, that's a good place to stop. It's uh, not a very good night to do the moon, and I'm not going to spend any more time than I have to. I'll be trying to get out every night. My name is Bill Bryce, and I live in Richmond, Texas, outside of Houston. I do the moon every night. I try to do a full survey of the moon. And uh, some nights are better than others. These are not. This is not a very good night. But... Uh, I, I was able to show you the canyon lands. You can see though the color, it's not, all you see is a bluish tinge and that's because we're looking through an atmosphere. There are some nights that you can really see a lot of color and I would uh, recommend that you go and look at some of my past videos. The uh, past three have been spectacular. And we're getting into a, a moon that it's going to uh, be uh, more full. And I found that when it, we get a full moon, that that's when the seems the color comes out with the, this, uh, this nice uh, camera that I have, this Logitech. Okay. I wish you and yours... Clear skies, guys.